guys, so today I'm just going to be filming my little intro before I get onto my video, which is my DIY American flag jean shorts. Oh my gosh, I just made these today. Um, you guys probably know that because I filmed it. Um, yeah, and in spite of that, I decided to wear a red lipstick and like a red sweatshirt, but it's kind of like bunching up. Oh well. So yeah, I'm super excited to make these before the July is coming really, really soon. I think it's in like a week and a half, but I'm not sure. I don't even know the date. School's out. Who, who cares? So yeah, I'm just going to make this intro really short because the video is going to be a little bit long, I think, unless I can edit it down. So yeah, this is what we are going to make and they are so cute and so much fun to make and so easy, really. Yeah! So yeah, let's get on to this video and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye! Okay, so the first things you're going to need are a pair of shorts and then you're going to probably need some sandpaper. It's optional, but yeah. You're obviously going to need some paint and I'm using red, white, and blue because obviously they're 4th of July shorts. Some sort of brush and I'm just using one of these little sponge brushes and then some cardboard pieces to go inside of the shorts. So, what you're going to do is you're going to put your shorts down and make sure they're even and everything. Like that. And then you can just insert these little cardboard pieces inside. Oh, there's my dog. If you can't see him. Make sure you get these in here very nicely. And put the pockets. You can take the pockets out if you want to so you don't get paint inside there. Which is what I'm going to do. So this leg is going to be the stars. So you're going to need some blue paint. And this, oh, and you're also going to need some stencils. Which I will have to go get later. Okay. So I'm just going to start by... You actually want to put it on a piece of cardboard first. Otherwise it can make the shorts look really weird. So let's try about mm, that much. Okay, so I'm just going to be using some duct tape and just be able to make the stripes with that. But I'm going to fold it in just a little bit because I don't want my stripes that wide. I'm probably going to fold it in about uh, a quarter of the way. This is about the, striped, the stripe that I want. So you're just going to want to put it all the way over. Alright. And then tuck it under as well. You can just go like this. And then uh, like put it right next to that one if you don't want to measure. And then... Mark where it ends with either a marker or some chalk. I brought some chalk out, but I forgot to use it just a minute ago. And now, go ahead and just do that. So that the stripes are about even, and you can just keep going. So I guess we're doing three stripes. I'll be starting with white. Take your cardboard again, and I'm just using white acrylic paint. I know you probably should use fabric paint, but I did not have any, so go for it. Okay, so now that I've got my one stencil, I know, like, I didn't cut the rest of these out. So I'm going to be doing like one stencil all around. It's going to be kind of funny. So I think I'm going to start right in the center and then go from there. Okay, so now we're going to take off the tape. Slowly, you can move it like one by one. I think I'm gonna do that. So now you wanna take your uh, 
cardboard again. And I'm just going to fold it over because I'm not going to like use a new one when I can just fold it over. And I'm just going to take some red paint. And these, I think, are they're just called puffy paint. Except for the white, that's acrylic. Head and lay your tape over top of it just to kind of guide you so you don't hit the white all that much. And then you can take off the last piece of tape where the seam is on the shorts here. I'm gonna also I'm gonna place the tape on there. And then take this off as well, clean up any edges. And now I'm going to be taking some sandpaper, and this is just, I don't know where it's from. I'm going to use this sheet here, and go ahead and kind of just scrape it up so it's a little bit distressed. Look. So we'll just do clean cut. I'll probably sew or hot glue these um, in a little bit, which I don't need to fill because it's pretty self-explanatory, so now you can put your pockets back in. So there you have it, a pair of DIY filet shorts. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!